Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cilantro in Aero Garden Harvest. This variety is called Confetti Cilantro. This looks a little bit different compared to traditional cilantro, but the flavor and taste is pretty similar. This is a little bit milder compared to the traditional cilantro. Let's see how this is going to work out in Aero Garden Harvest. This is the first time I am growing this variety. I am very excited to see this variety growing in hydroponic systems. The seeds are looking exactly similar to traditional cilantro seeds. Basically this is a seed pod and inside there should be two seeds. So I am going to follow the same process. I am going to break this seed pod and add these broken seeds into the pods. Even if we can't uh, break the seed pod thoroughly, it's fine. As long as we can make a little crack on the seed pod, that's good enough. It's very simple. Just uh, take the seed pod and crack it a little bit and roll it. And we'll see the seeds get split. Sometimes they get split, but uh, they stick together. Let's move on to the next one. This is easy. All right, I think I got uh, enough seeds. Now I will drop about three seeds or maybe four seeds. They're basically the cracked ones. Four split seeds basically. We can easily grow up to four plants per pod for cilantro. So even if all seeds germinate i'm going to leave them as is whether it's just one seed or four seeds i'm just going to leave them no need to thin out the cilantro plants that's it the garden is ready as always i will add water but i will not add the nutrition right away i will start adding nutrition once i see the seedlings this garden is all set and good to go it's been six days and I'm already seeing a bunch of seedlings. I see seedlings in four pods. This is surprisingly very good germination. I don't see any signs of germination from the two pods. Hopefully these seeds will also sprout. At least one of the seeds will germinate here. I see a seedling in this pod is struggling. It couldn't push the roots down. So I'm going to help this seedling. Basically, I'm going to open up the pod and uh, reposition this uh, seedling, keeping the roots deep into the sponge. But uh, overall, it's a pretty good start and surprisingly excellent start. Now, let me show you how I help the seedlings that couldn't push the roots down. Just take out the pod. Look at this, it's completely above the sponge. There are more seeds in this pod. Maybe they will germinate as well. I'm going to keep them after I reposition the seedling. Just uh, cut and open the seed, open the sponge. There are more seeds as I placed about four seeds. Once we cut and open the sponge, just place the root little deep into the sponge. I think this is good. Now I'm going to drop the remaining seedlings. Hopefully these also will germinate. Even if they don't germinate, that's okay. I need at least one seedling or at least one plant in each sponge. That's easy peasy. Now put it back and place the pod back into the aero garden. That's it. That is how we should uh, help the seedlings. I think uh, there is one more here. Look at this. Wow, good that I noticed it. This one is also growing completely above the sponge. 
definitely it couldn't have survived just repeating the same process look at these seeds they haven't germinated yet i'm going to leave them as is but uh, reposition this seedling be a little gentle because the seedlings are very sensitive just like this that's it now that i see the seedlings i will start adding the nutrition i will use aerogoda nutrients throughout the growth cycle and i will use the recommended dosage which is 8 ml at every feeding cycle it's day 10 the seedlings are coming excellent i see seedlings in four pods and they are coming excellent this pod has uh, three seedlings i'm not going to disturb these seedlings i'm going to let them grow irrespective of how many plants per pod i can easily manage three to four cilantro plants in each pod so three pods have uh, one seedling in each pod and uh, one pod has uh, three seedlings i'll just continue this and the remaining two pods doesn't have any seedlings or any signs of germination so i'm giving up on these pods i don't want to add uh, or replace the seeds at this point so i'll continue this garden with uh, four pods I'm going to remove these pods and give enough space for the existing uh, seedlings and uh, let the plants grow very comfortably in this garden. It's day 28. The cilantro took a little bit of time in the initial days, but now it picked up the growth and uh, showing a very good progress day by day. Many of these leaves are big enough to start harvesting. Like any cilantro, I can start harvesting the bigger leaves from the bottom and the plant will continue to come up with a lot more growth from the center. So I am going to start harvesting the cilantro from now on. Actually I am curious to give this cilantro a taste test. So let me harvest one cilantro and give it a taste test. Wow, it's pretty good. I don't see any difference between uh, this traditional cilantro and uh, this confetti cilantro. It's pretty good and very flavorful and uh, very tasty. Exact same flavor. Pretty nice. It's a perfect replacement. It's day 42. Look at this. How beautiful it is coming. It is still very tasty and very flavorful. I am harvesting uh, this cilantro like two or three leaves from each plant for almost uh, one week or 10 days and uh, it is coming back nice like the traditional cilantro i'm seeing a uh, tip bones here as well there is nothing much we can do this is pretty common with a uh, cilantro these plants will come back this will heal by itself so i'm going to wait and see how it goes everything is going fine here the lights are pretty far from the plants and uh, it's not too hot here so everything is right but uh, the cilantro still develops some tip bones but uh, it will recover itself so i'm not going to worry too much i will just uh, give it some time and uh, see if it will come back but uh, so far it is going really good and uh, i am really enjoying this flavorful and uh, tasty cilantro It's day 70. The cilantro is coming very nice and healthy and it is always loaded with a bunch of cilantro. These brown things here and there are pretty common so nothing to be worried about. Like compared to all the greens, these browns are really nothing. But uh, overall this is going really good. I am not able to aggressively harvest it. Uh, in fact it's not about I am not aggressively harvesting. The plant is aggressively producing it and it is always excess. I cannot use more than 5-6 leaves a day, that's what I am doing but this plant is coming up with uh, so much growth and it's not stopping anywhere. That is the reason this plant is always loaded with uh, cilantro. As the leaves are aging out, I see some white spots on the leaves but if we aggressively harvest it and use it then we don't end up in this situation. The younger leaves are pretty healthy look at these younger leaves they are very healthy but as they age out they are turning into these white spots on the leaves 
nothing changes in terms of uh, taste or flavor but uh, they just look a little bit ugly and uh, i don't feel like using them so once in a while i remove these older leaves and trash them but uh, if we can harvest it aggressively then we'd never really see this issue overall this experiment is going really good these plants are doing really really good and uh, I feel like this cylindro is producing lot more compared to the traditional cylindro varieties. Maybe I will stick to this variety at least for some time. I don't have any intention to make another garden because it is already excessive for me. But um, if I ever use excessive cylindro and I want another garden, I will definitely make another garden with this confetti cylindro variety. I am really really liking it and definitely this is i am liking it much better than uh, the traditional cilantro all right i think that's pretty much from this experiment and from this video i think uh, this cilantro will stay for longer time but for now it's going to be routine so i'm going to stop it here all right thanks for watching and happy hydroponics growing